it appeared there could be a break in the 15-year-old case of a UMass student who vanished. But sadly, the search for Maura Murray came up empty in New Hampshire. FBI crews dug up part of a basement at a home in Haverhill. It's a spot that Murray's family believed was linked to her disappearance. Katie Brace joins us now. And Katie, the only thing they discovered was some old pottery. Well, Lisa, pottery or a piece of pipe is what investigators actually discovered when they dug up part of the basement. Now, the father of Maura Murray finally thought after years of searching, he had found his daughter. I thought we had a really good shot at being right. Based on Fred Murray's convictions, investigators searched the basement of this home near where his daughter was last seen 15 years ago. This one hurts because I thought we finally had it. This one is worse than the other false alarms or dead ends and I was pretty sure. On a February evening, Maura Murray, then 21 years old, crashed her car in New Hampshire in the White Mountain region. Someone stopped to help. She declined and disappeared. Over the last several months, that home has become the target of increased speculation. In Fred's own investigation, cadaver dogs indicated there was a body in this home's basement and ground penetrating radar showed disturbance to the ground. But police investigators say there was no credible evidence Maura's body was there. It was really uh, done just simply to cross something off the list. Prosecutors still reached out to the new homeowner who agreed to have the FBI and state police dig up part of the basement. No evidence was found in connection with that case. That conclusion, Fred Murray is again without answers or his daughter. Stick my nose back on the trail. That's all I can do. Please consider Maura Murray's disappearance a criminal investigation. They say the case has always generated a lot of interest and activity, and they continue to this day to follow up on leads. David. All right, Katie, thank you.